Hey guys, my name is Vlad and uh, I'm excited because not long time ago I ordered my RV-10 airplane kit from Vance Aircraft. So I'm really excited because this kit should arrive just virtually today. I'm expecting it. And uh, well, I just would like to say a few words. Uh, so as I said, my name is Vlad. I'm located in Canada near Vancouver and I'm planning to assemble my own airplane hopefully with help of my family, my kids and my wife. And um, not long time ago I came to aviation. I am a private pilot. I, uh, make, uh, I, was, I, I knew about the um, home-built airplanes since a long time. I was reading lots of internet resources, forums, and uh, before I came to aviation, even that, that, that was the, uh, I was doing that. When I came to aviation, I was able to distinguish between the like home builds and experimental airplanes and um, factory manufactured like certified like Piper or Cessna whatever and um, at that point I was starting to realize by like chatting with pilot friends with like with people around me at flight school that well it's very expensive to like to own the airplane because you have to pay lots of things but it's not even the case the biggest issue is certified, so as you know, is that you are very limited in your possibilities. You cannot install what you want, you can do what you want with the airplane because, well, it's certified, period. And I'm sure the same in the US, the same like in Canada, very strict. My background is electrical engineering, so I'm an embedded developer. So I, well, probably a couple of months ago, probably half a year ago, I wouldn't even think that I will be building my own airplane. I always was wanting, like, after I realized that there are some home builds, beautiful experimental airplanes, after reading lots of stories on the internet, how people build their own airplanes in garages, basements, living rooms, and, uh, well, home garages, and watching lots of videos about that, I was, I started to think that I, I really want to build the airplane. But I was still unsure because, well, my background is really electrical engineering but not mechanical engineering and um, but after that again um, I was reading lots of success stories of people whose background also like programmers uh, well whatever uh, musicians uh, the different professions which are not directly related to mechanical engineering so I decided to give it a try and uh, I'm very excited because I'm gonna start really soon to assemble my airplane I know it's a long long trip to get it into the air. I know that it will take time, it will take lots of like resources, financial, the own resources, help of family, help probably of friends. But well, I mean, we live just once, so we have to try that. I invested in some tools, as you can see that big and expensive tool, Nimpler, which I was recommended online. Uh, to, to get. I also have lots of other tools which you will see during the process of my airplane assembly. I will do a short videos, um, hope to keep it within like 10-15 minutes um, about the progress of my assembly. Uh, I'm not a professional um, photographer or not a professional like filmmaker so sorry for the um, quality of the content. It's probably not the, <laughs> not the highest. I have my YouTube channel, actually this uh, YouTube channel which is uh, Techfan Style. This YouTube channel initially I was planning to have for my um, electrical engineering videos, like PCB boards, assemblies, how it happened and everything. But um, unfortunately that never happened, I probably have a couple of videos about that. But I think it's a good opportunity for me to use this channel specifically for uh, videos related to airplanes and specifically for my RV-10 build. So don't hesitate to comment, don't hesitate to make a post under uh, this and my other videos, ask me questions if, if any, and um, in a few days uh, after I do like inspection of the package which should arrive, uh, I will start my build and as I said I'm gonna be uh, filming my progress and you will be able to see how it goes and I'm sure I'm gonna have lots of questions and I will be asking for the uh, VAF community of forums and uh, use internet resources uh, 
Well, we will see when we get there. So once again, welcome. Uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my uh, upcoming videos um, about my RV10 build. And with the time during the build, I will probably tell more about myself and uh, about my goals, about what I'm planning to achieve in aviation. So thank you for watching that and have a good one. Bye. So my RV10 tail cone MTNH heat is right here. It's finally delivered. And to be honest, it was a long day for me today because first of all, I cut my delivery to my border mail address, which is in the United States in Washington State. So I had to drive there to get a to rent a U-Haul uh, trailer, put it up to my SUV, drive there, uh, load it up. I, I met a nice guy from FedEx who was uh, uh, willing to help me to actually load this 325 pounds uh, box from his truck and uploaded it directly to my trailer. After that I brought it through the Canadian Customs, again spent lots of time because well it's a it's the middle of the week and it's uh, afternoon hours when we have lots of truck crossing border from US to Canada and well after all that I'm finally here, it's evening now and boxes here is in my uh, shop in my hangar and uh, I'm ready to start uh, the verification of each part versus the packing slip, so basically packing uh, slip versus the parts verification. But likely I will start it tomorrow because today I'm, to be honest, I'm exhausted and I just want to, to relax and probably just, just go sleep. So I will continue once I pass through my inspection and start my actual assembly. See you soon. Bye.